Hello gamers! It's SoftKitty99 in the Minecraft Creative Builds world. And we're in our shopping centre that we built a few episodes ago. And I'm starting to add in the shop interiors. We did a cake shop. And a coffee shop for the baristas to live at. And uh, it's right next to the entrance and exit. Right by... The town hall so all the staff from the town hall can run in here and grab their coffee and their break times <laughs> and a cake to go with it but i think cake and coffee that's great for your break times but when it comes to lunch time because we're right close to the shopping center here right behind the flower shop over there i think that you're going to need some more serious food that you can pick up i think we're going to want somewhere that does hot food maybe sandwiches uh, to go along with your cake and your drinks so this place won't be selling drinks they'll be selling cake and stuff so i think what we need to do is start with a till so if we use our polished andesite i think we could have a couple of tills i think we could have uh, one right here and one right here so that you can serve people in two different directions. In fact, we might want more. We might want more than two. Maybe we should have the whole area be like a till area. So we have three different tills. One, two, three. So we can have three staff serving people. So maybe you make your order and you sell your serve. So maybe we have three staff and they're all doing different things. Maybe, maybe the three stalls is too many. But we don't know. Well, let's see. So let's think about this. So you're going to want hot food and you're also going to want like sandwiches and stuff. So I think what we could use is grab some iron blocks and make ourselves a refrigerator. So if we grab an iron block and the iron tool. We're going to want the chest. Do you think we're not going to want coffee beans, are we? So if we pop in... Um, we pop in like a double fridge here. We're going to want the iron door. Right, so if we go above it, can we put the doors on like that? So we've got like a big double fridge for the staff to be using for cooking and stuff. So you know what? I think if we pick this up from here and we make it. Let's make it a three wide cooking area here. And then if we remove this and we put another block in here. So we've got a bit more workspace here and then cooking space here. So you cook here and then you make your sandwiches here. So you've got access to your fridge for your sandwiches and stuff right here, you see. And then if we grab the scaffolding blocks and we can put a couple of them on top here. So it looks like we've got extra space for shelving and stuff to to keep um, extra stuff for your sandwich ingredients and things so we could maybe have all the loaves of bread up on the shelf area up here uh, and perhaps what we want then is also some sort of work area so if we have stone pressure plates and we put those here and we grab some oak ones and pop that in place of here then we can make working areas so if we have the stone ones by the cooking area so you take stuff out of the ovens all hot and you can pop it on top of the and if we use those all the way across the tops of the cookers so it looks like you've got heating plates for doing burgers and things on the top of there and then you take your hot cooked things like sausage rolls and pies and things and you can stand the trays on the stone plates for cooling down before you serve them to your people and then if we use the wooden ones across here then they're like cutting boards for you to slice up your bread and make your sandwiches to go with what people uh, want and all the cold fillings can be in here so you can keep your margarine and your butter and your cheese and ham sliced ham and sliced beef and condiments and things like your um, coleslaw and um, then you could have extra things like mustard and horseradish and all those sorts of things on your shelves with you, and along with all your bread on your shelves so that it's all ready to make up when you get things for people right so what we want then 
is so we've got our three star so three tills for serving people so we also want like we did with the others we're, we're going to want some sort of board to suggest what we're selling so we want the so we've used the same material down there as we did before so if we use the polished diorite that we used for that up here for our boardage signage so if we remove the one row across there and we add in the diorite here for two rows then we can add the item frames so if you leave two empty at each side so one two there so we've got the board frame so now we think about what we're going to put on here so if we look at the foodstuffs that we can get so if we think now what can we make so we're going to want to have like sandwiches so we can get sandwiches made um, probably baked potatoes would be a good one wouldn't it for a little place for foodstuffs uh, we're not really going to be doing drinks so we don't want the brewing stands and things and the berries maybe so we could make burgers we could do burgers so we could give them like a steak thing for like a burger and uh, so we've got sandwiches we've got baked potatoes so we could do uh, like cheese baked potatoes or coleslaw baked potatoes and we could do ham sandwiches you could do it with coleslaw and ham uh, beef sandwiches maybe I don't know what else could we do um, stews is probably not the sort of thing you would get in one of these little places so what's these sorts of places would do what they'd do maybe something like a flan so we could make it maybe use the pumpkin pie and pretend it's like a um a flan a, like a cheese and onion flan or something and all the stuff that you would sell at one of these little kiosky things would be fairly easy to eat stuff so you do like little steak and kidney pies and uh, cheese and onion pasties and stuff like that wouldn't you so if we have like little pies so that could be like a cheese and onion pasty or something i'd be thinking what would we get wouldn't we uh, and then you could have um, burgers and hot dogs and baked potatoes and sandwiches that's the sort of thing i think that they would sell at a place like that so well, how many boards have we got so if we do so we've got sandwiches and baked potatoes and we do burgers and we do pies like Cornish pasties and things uh, that leaves us one more space what what else would look good what else could they sell that would I'm just trying to look at something that said just how about the, the cooked pork shop could that look a little bit like a pie so we could say that that looks like a so that would be like a steak and kidney pie or a cheese and onion pie and that would be a cheese and onion pasty or a Cornish pasty or something like that. So you've got all the little types of foods that you can pick up for like snacks and things for lunches, that sort of thing that you would want quite close to a, a shopping centre. And I think that that will be my little shop. So we could add a little bit of decoration to it. So if you were a shop and you wanted a little bit of decor, what sort of thing would you go for? Would you have like a banner on the wall perhaps to suggest that you're a little bit different to your competitors or something? So what would you pop on the walls? Should we go for, let's think, what sort of branding shall we say that we are? Since we're a food shop, uh, we're going to have all golden coloured baked goods. So we've got nice golden brown breads and we've got a nice golden brown sort of golden coloured cookies and things so if we add some yellow theming around the edges of our stool how far up did I put it there yeah and then we could put them across the back of here too like that and maybe one like that so we've got a little bit of theming to our restaurant and we could even put it on the outside as well for Right, this is us come come to us this is our shop we're the the super baked goods people so it's like a little bakery type shop isn't it and uh, maybe a little fast food store for getting all your foods so i hope you've enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one 
from softkitty99 goodbye and happy gaming